and I had I had the pistol right here. I lift up my shirt and I was like, "All right, what's up? Who, who, who's gonna, who's gonna take this off right now? Mm. Like, let, let, let's do this. You know what I'm right. saying? Now I gotta answer the con for the shit that I did on the street. Hey everybody, welcome to the Bounce Back. I'm your host, Bobby. I got a special guest with me today. My boy, man. We did a little bit of time together. We're 617. Here we go. We in the house, Massachusetts. Bucky G. When did you first start getting in trouble with the law? It was Jesus. Kind of like six mass arm robberies and like five conspiracies. And they just threw on a bunch of other charges when I was like 17 or something. 17? Yeah, because I think I was like, I... I pulled like a beanie or some bullshit like before that when I was like 16, so they had me on some juvenile shit. Mm -hmm. So I had to go through all that juvenile shit, but then I was still on probation, like adult probation. And I had this guy that was like a whack job, bro. <laughs> he showed up at my uh, DYS place, right? Before I was going, it's like a pre-release, but for the US, four weeks before I was about to go in, he was like, yo, why haven't you checked in? I laughed at him. I'm like, are you serious right now, right. dude? Like, you know what I'm That's saying? That's crazy. These fools. But then I got out off and on clean. No, I can't even say that. I wasn't even clean because I've been getting high since fucking day one. But then uh, after I, he put me in fucking Cambridge jail for like fucking six months. For, some, some stupid All right, dude. So he was let's like back it up that. a little bit. Was you locked up in d and juvenile? Yeah, I, I was at MDU. And do you remember that Roxbury one, the one right there at Jackson um, Circle Hill? It's right next to uh, Academy Hillside, Park. I think. Hillside. Yeah. I was at Hillside. I was at MDU. Then I went to the island. Casa Island. Casa yeah. Island, right? And then from Casa Island, you go to your program and do your program. I only got like six six months DYS time, but um, when I got released, I still, I was like 17 at the time, and I was turning 18, I got released in October, but I still had an adult case. Aged out when I was in um, Cambridge jail because I, I caught that mass mm. arm robberies, so it was just like, did whatever with me, they just gave me to the um So what, all right, probation. mass arm robbery, what got you to the point where you're doing masked arm robberies? Well, it's not a good idea, the system, sending kids to prison or jail at the time. Because then when you're in jail, you meet all these different characters. And you hear about all these different things. Mm -hmm. Like, I never, like, shot coke or whatever before all the mass arm robberies and shit. Like, I'm hearing all these older guys talking about it, whatever. I was already a drug guy, whatever I sniffed, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? I'm like, hmm, you know, and like, why I get in my mind? People got needles one time, and hanging out, you know, you fucking. And they almost, in a sense, like, were they like glamorizing it? The war, yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, you know how it is, dude. Everything, anytime you're in a room with a group of males, it's always glorifying. It's always who's the, like, who's got the upper on the upper, the test stars on this, on yeah, that. Yeah. It's like, I'm all tied with that boy story. But like, what, you, you were young at the time. You're impressionable. Yeah. These are probably guys, maybe your age, but maybe a little older. And it's like instead of giving that message, like, bro, this ain't it, really. Like, look where we all, we here. You know what I mean? And there's so many people who. But look at the system when we we're in Concord, dude. Right. Well, you let's can't. Yeah. No, I'm I'm, I'm hip. I mean, let's back up, let's okay. back up before we get to conquer, right? So you called a mass time robbery. Yeah. Pretty much right away as an adult. Did yeah. you do? County time? What happened with that? No, I, so... Because I know sometimes I give you a break, you know, for even if it is serious. Yeah, all right, like, so, um, I got charged with six mass diamond robberies. I had three co-defendants. Two of them told, one of them didn't. They didn't have nothing on me. Nobody could point me out. All they had me was at a store down the street, and then 20 minutes uh, later, someone getting uh, robbed. So that's how they were trying to connect me into it. So I was bringing the trial. At the time, I had Steve Rappaport, which is the best. If anybody knows Steve Rappaport back in like the early 2000s, he was the, the name, best yeah. lawyer for Middlesex County for Superior Court. So I called my parents and I'm like, yo, this, is ain't, this, ain't, this shit ain't no joke. Like, they, they, my first offer, because I didn't have them at first. <clears throat> 
my first offer, they were like, yeah, uh, 10, 15. I was like, on a plate what the out? fuck? I was like, yeah, see you later. So it was like, you know, I went home, I you know, begged my parents, you know what I'm saying? So after a while, they broke. I was like, because I was like, yo, this is fucking serious. Like, were you fighting this from the street, this. though? No, I was, first I was inside my, see, my father was always strict. Like, he always wanted to teach me a lesson. He would mm-hmm. never bail me out. He bailed me out once on that case why I was waiting to go to trial, right? I was going to beat it. I had a stone cold beat, nothing. But it was, got my lawyer was like, dude, you, we got this. And I'm like, nothing's 100%. But the, he bails me out. I got to go to uh, halfway house. That's the deal. All right, so he bails me out for 10 racks. I go to the, that's halfway house, whatever. Mm-hmm. I do six months. Three days before I graduate, I go up. I meet my boy up on the North Shore. I was up in Beverly. This is when the big rave scene was going on. And I uh, smoked dust. I had a weekend pass, so I came back. And they actually end up urinating. They do urine, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And I thought I was like, it's like, you know, you drink a gallon of water, whatever you get the right. urine. Flush it but out. I guess I didn't like. Sometimes it's weird. Like, you know, you, when you piss clear, you think, right, it got. It it happens sometimes. I pissed clear. The shit was like looked like water. I still feel they came to me right. I was supposed to leave Friday. They came to me that Wednesday and was like, "Yeah, you're out of here. You gotta fuck." I was like, "Fuck." And they, they feel so. I had an instance with I took a urine. It was it was clear, but they the, she was like, "It's diluted." You know what I mean? And I yeah, like, no, that's what they that's do. What, oh yeah, but they still consider that a, like a fucking. And my shit was legit. Like middle of the summer, drinking mad water, bro, just to drink it, bro, working. This, I had to slide over there on my lunch break. Went back, boom, I'm boom. gonna tell you something, <laughs> right? Go to my sister's on the apartment building out in the South End. So I'm in the basement. So I'm just like staying there on the cover. And then like the day before, I was going to trial. Went out with one of my uh, so-called friends. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. One of them. We all memed out. We went to the hideaway. North Cambridge, that's when I knew he was good. And um, we ended up getting into, a, he ended up getting into a fucking fight, like breaking in downstairs, doing whatever. So like, I'm trying to get in the car with these chicks. And I turn around and I'm like, wait a second, that's my boy. You know, I'm loyal until it is. If I were friends, but I'm loyal, dude, like mm-hmm. till it falls. And that's where a lot of this shit ends up killing your loyalty. Mm. Man, it, it's, it comes with like, Price. Yeah, because it's not, people aren't loyal, dude. They really, I always, the loyal one, right? I'll go and I'll grab my voice back, right? But then when something happens, it's like, where were you? It's That's not, why I'm saying it's like, it's loyalty not sometimes yeah. is selfish for other people mm-hmm. because it's. It could be a one way street a lot. Yeah. That loyalty thing, but you know, that just makes you. So a I end good up person. catching a case because we. Now, now this is why you're already fighting the other case. Yeah, this is why I'm fighting the other case. So now, I know we didn't come in the car, but at the time I I wasn't thinking, mm-hmm. and there was <laughs> keys on the ground. And uh, this other kid, we were like, "Yo, I got the keys. I got the, my car's right here." And I'm like, oh, "All right, let's jump in." And then I'm in the car. I'm like, "Dude, wait a minute, we didn't come in the car." Next thing you know, bang, state police chasing us. Da 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 da. I get away, and then they end up get me because one of them was um, this kid that I grew up with, his father, ID'd me. So I had a fucking, they ended up arresting me on that. Then I had to take, that was taking that to trial when I was taking that. And the other two kids I was with, they like, well, we're gonna indict them if you don't take this plea and we'll put it together with the armed robberies and we'll just give you all this shit. And they, like, when you got arrested, they revoked your bail, and now you're sitting. Yeah. Uh, now you're back. Now you're in jail. Yeah, and, it's all, and when they offer you this plea, yeah. Well, so first I had to do two and a half years, right? Bell Ricker House of Corrections when I was like mm. 17, and they offered me five years for one of the armed robberies. So they dropped out of armed robberies, so they offered me. They're like, all right, you got five years probation. All right, I'll take that. You know what I'm saying? So I did this two and a half. I was out for 18. And then I was fucking around on fucking probation. But superior probation. Superior probation. And I was giving them fucking diluted urine. Mm. So this judge was like an asshole. He took over my fucking case. And he's like, you come back in front of me. He's like, oh, he actually gave me an opportunity. He was like, yo, you can leave now. Or you could do 18 months. And then that's it. You could just go. But if you come back, if I let you go today and you come back in front of me. 
I'm giving you five years because I can't give you no less than five years for that. I'm already mass I'm already whatever. I was like, get to leave right now. Mm-hmm. He's like, yeah, you get to leave right now. I was like, word, let's go. Mm-hmm. And then that was like, <laughs> dude, <laughs> fucking three days later, they called me, pop. Do you remember how you have a call for the urines? Yeah, oh, yeah. They, they called call me. I was like, fuck. So I uh, diluted urine. 90 days, bro, it took. I beat that diluted urine. I got toxicologists and everything. They all came in. And you were still um, from the street? Yeah. No, no. They were holding me. They held me. you they held me for 90 days. They, yep, Listen, so this is right. You. I'm going, right? So I'm thinking, I go to Christmas. It's Christmas time, right? It's it's like the 24th. It's the 23rd. And I'm like, all right. This dude's going to make a decision. I'm going to be home before Christmas. This fucking prick didn't let me out until the day after Christmas. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. You learn from your lessons. I've grown my past is what's made me my, like, yeah. brought me to my future, made me you gotta what go I am. You got to what you got to go through yeah. to be the person you are today. And if you're proud of the person you are today, which you should be, and we're going to get into why you should be, it all counts. You got to go sure. through what you go through to be who you are today. Yeah, just to struggle be the man you are today. Man. You know what I'm saying? The so you, so you beat so you beat the surrender hearing. So I beat the surrender hearing. And now you still on what I, now superior probation how's that going? They, <laughs> getting high right off the bat straight. Getting high. So what was your mentality? I'm running around on the streets getting high. Say hey, they I missed one of the like the color dates and I try to like play it off or whatever like mm-hmm. oh I didn't like because they called the day be- actually they called the day before for the color. You know how they hit they you back hit to two, back sometimes. Yeah, yep. They hit me back mm-hmm, to back, yeah. so I was like, oh, I went da da da. So dude, can um, let it to my house. So you know, you know what it is. I see. I can't go off. I, I don't like, right, like no, really We keeping it. We keep it real though. Yeah. yeah. No, no. We you know keep it real saying, though. None, no. It would be you know. I, I see. I see. Like now that I moved up to Western Mass. You know what I'm saying. I'm in the Holyoke area. Mm-hmm. And I see like these sixteen year old kids, seventeen year old kids, and they got bags, mm. like twenty bags somehow on them, with cans, mm. driving. Like that's sad. Like I could right. like, when I had a habit, I went out there, and I did what I had to do because I wasn't gonna. It's my habit. I brought it on myself. Nobody else brought it on it. So it's my mm-hmm. responsibility, basically, I got to rob, I got to steal, I got to do whatever it is to get that money, to get that next fix. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, it just, just spiraled and spiraled and spiraled. You know, I had girls fucking that had money at the mm-hmm. time, you know, and I would never, I didn't, I didn't work. I mean, it really just just went off the wall. She, she started shooting coke, dude. When she started shooting coke, mm-hmm. forget about it. It's a different world, mm-hmm. dude. Like, mm-hmm. using needles. Like, I'm 22 years old. I go back up to Cambridge and get my blood tested. And I'm like, oh, you got to have C. And I'm like, damn, like, really? I'm like, Did that, at like, that time. feel like, like real? Like, damn, shit's Yeah, coming. I'm like, mm. but at the time, I didn't care. Mm-hmm. Like, in my early 20s, like, I did not care. Had no feelings, I didn't care, I couldn't really feel. Like, I didn't give a fuck about the outcomes and the people that I hurt. And the girl at the time that I was with, she helped me a lot. Like, it just, addiction breaks everything. Mm -hmm. Everything around you, people around you, you know, you hurt, you start, I, you know, stealing, fucking, Mm -hmm. ill. And eventually it all, what, spirals out of control? And how do you end up? Like, you end up violating that probation and getting oh, state yeah, time. Dude, I, Did you catch another dude, case? I, I you run and that, you just got, what happened? Yeah, I violated that probation like 60 days later, but they couldn't get a hold of the judge. The judge moved to um, Suffolk Superior, so it gave me a little bit of time, so I just kept on running around getting high until they uh, eventually just got me. I ended up my And you were still ass. going to court? Or yeah, just, like short, you just up, to be like, because like, yeah. I, I did graduate one of the programs. They told me to graduate, but I did catch a, a dirty in that one too. But then after when I got out and I caught that other dirty, that's when they were like, you know. Yeah. So now I'm running and I'm just like, I'm like, fuck it. Um, I'm just gonna. No, I never turned myself in, nothing, but. I fucking, I was at my house and, uh... So you I weren't knew, going to court, you know, no, you just skipped it to court. Because yeah. I knew right yeah, away, yeah. like, you know what I'm saying? 
but they came and they got me, and then my like, I was all beaten out, and I'm like, dude, I'm like, I forget what I said to my PO at the time. He goes, yeah, you're getting your, he's like, you're getting your five years. I was like, what? Damn. What's going What the fuck is going on? They put me up two seconds. Boom, it sparks five years. Boom, I'm like, whoa, 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 wait a second, wait a second. Like, they just carry me off, yeah. and I'm like, dude, and then this, they put me in the cell with this kid, and this kid's crying, I'm like, what are you crying about? He's like, yo, they just gave me 18. I'm like, what, Puts 18, 18 years? He's like, no, 18 months. Oh, hell yeah. I'm like, man, shut the fuck up. I just got five years, man. It's fucking bullshit, right? But that's all because of my addiction, dude. My addiction, I didn't give a fuck. And I still didn't give a fuck when I went to prison because I was getting high in prison. Though. So, oh, okay, so you get sent to, where did you go first? You went to, went to um, was Con Concord was, um... Is that when we were together, or you already did a state bid before? No, it didn't. No, that was, um, no, Concord is when they uh, had... Classification, classification, 52 A's. 52 A's. All that. No, the whole thing, yeah, was classification, 52 A's, and then you would go to wherever you went, and then they changed it into a um, medium into a medium and we all stayed where, yeah that okay that was that time yeah, when we were I up came, there together yeah, i came down from the max from that time but i got from oh, there okay, okay, okay. from there i got shipped to fucking shirley medium i was in shirley medium for fucking 60 days dude they i got hit with a urine and they wanted they were like yeah we're sending you up to um we want to go walpole to the max now and there was dudes in the hole waiting six seven months to go to the max Damn. and i'm like yo how, how quick's walpole and they were like ah 25 30 i was like sign me up for walpole <laughs> and like you really want to go to walpole i'm like yeah send me to walpole i want to get the fuck out of here like i don't give a fuck i'm not sitting in this in fucking hole. hole yeah especially like it, dude you so know. you went to Walpole when Walpole was real, real before it was, was classification. Wall, yeah, when it was real. So walk me through that, man. You you're a young dude. I mean, granted, yeah, you want to like, get out the hole, so you want to go, but that shit gotta still be kind of little. Especially there was beef going on between two sides, like two cities. It wasn't really just like two cities itself, but you know how how two people associate, yeah, 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 associate themselves. Others, you yeah. know, Walpole. I got close with a couple of dudes, and they were on end up being on the opposite side that I'm on right mm. now. But I was like, I say neutral. Like, I'm not, I'm, I keep it 100. Like, I was like, I didn't get in it to fight you or to do anything or whatever. Mm -hmm. We still cool, but that's on you if you want to do something. You right. know what I'm yeah. saying? Yep. Like, it's it's totally on you. Like, I talked to them and they look, they need, you know, they get mad. It is what it is. But... I ended up, um, so I was in Walpole with them, you know, and then they all moved us to the max. And because, uh... Was that during they, the double bunking? Yeah. Dude. So you were on the uh, walk? Yeah, talk about that. Oh I finally God, got somebody here dude. that was there for the double bunking. Oh, my God, So you were bro. the you were the people going into oh. these people who had single cells dude. for years, right? Dude. These people had single cells for years. I still have years. PTSD and ABC from that fucking place from when they were double bunking so what happened one day they like spot pack, um, pack it up every, the whole yeah, no, they, they were moving us one at a time out of waffle so they put me in skinner right so at lunch time so i kick him out of the cell i'm like yo bro pack your shit throw your shit out bam um so, so they, damn. i kicked him out of my cell and then the sergeant came how'd you over. go about that you just told him to bounce or did yeah, you like wrap no, his shit up and because yeah, i seen people take like, his shit and just throw it off them, but like, like oh you can't because i was in there for like five minutes i was talking to him and i after i after i went through all um central booking and shit i forget what time i think it was i don't know if it was dinner time or if it was wreck but i had i was like in there for half an hour talking to him and i like finally got it out of him like, mm. i'm like what are you doing and he's like oh bro. i was like <laughs> i'm like oh my god mm. i'm like all right i mean you got two choices bro that door cracks you're out you don't leave i'm stomping your fucking head in and, he, and he's like oh, no, 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 i'll leave i'll leave i'll mm. leave and i was he's like you want he's like you want to read i was like i don't even want to read the fucking paperwork bro because if i read the paperwork so i'm gonna do something right now to you so it's like i'm just get the fuck out the cell and then the sergeant came over and i was like dude i was like what the fuck you guys think you're doing you're putting this shit in my fucking cell i said are you serious i said i said i right, keep fucking with me and they were like um who was in the cell like, first? I'm sorry, I cut you off. He was. So, okay, they like, put you know, in like, his cell. Yeah, okay. they put me in his cell. And you kicked him out of the cell. Yeah, the, the sergeant was like, oh, he's like, Spock, 
Spikey. Oh, yeah, I know who you are. Now, they're getting me confused with the other Spikey. Mm -hmm. That was uh, the none of them that I would want to be put down with mm -hmm. at the time. That was and two of them they kicked out that was there on the fucking block, and um, so I stayed like I you know I tried to like, first they come they come to my door and they were like ah uh, you know if you don't want to stay here you don't have to stay here I was like yo first of all I ain't leaving, and if I do, we're all going mm. so what 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 suit up and. He's like, no, no, it's not like that. And he's just saying, no, if you feel uncomfortable because your boys are over on the green side. <clears throat> I was like, yeah, I ain't going anywhere. Yeah. I think it was so, so it So would have, it would have been seen like a yeah. PC kind of move, right? Yeah, oh, no, why, yeah. That's facts. why you were like, I ain't facts. going to. Yeah. Facts, If I would have got there, it would have been PC move. So I stayed on the block with them. And um, I stayed on for a while. And then I got moved to Concord. And then that's when I uh, that's where we were met together. you. And then Joey down, uh, I think, who else came down? A couple of other kids mm -hmm. came down that I was cool with, that I used to talk to on the block. Um, like, through the friends, not on the block, like, through the friends, because they were P in P1. And I was, oh, no, it was an N2 at the time, or was it? It was one of the N2 or N1s, whatever. Okay. We, I don't we really could know. go to the yard. Yeah, no. We could yep. go out. This was, this was my first one to the max. So this was like in. Because they mm -hmm. just switched. I was at like Walpole for like nine months before they switched over. So it was, I forget if it was like. What kind of other crazy nine? stuff was going on with, with the double bunking, man? Like, I know you, they oh, put you in so, a bad cell. Like, what other t shit was dude, you seeing so over you there? Got, I, I know people so were nobody, not having that, when, no, from what I, I heard. <clears throat> a lot of people were not trying to have L, that. L2 was like, they were like the warriors of the fucking whole place mm -hmm. like they were the front line you know what i'm saying they weren't taking no sellies Think no bunks were. they weren't letting nobody in bro dude they ended up getting to the point where they were cuffing people right and then they would just throw you in the fucking cell mm, and damn. you have to do something to him because <laughs> right. if you don't do something to him you're getting PC'd off the block because you, nobody's taking. Because everyone's trying to be sol to, solidarity. Yeah, everybody's trying on the same page. We ain't take nobody's the, taking yeah, a selly. Which we're, we're trying, we're trying to like, we, they, we're, they're trying to break us, but we're trying to break them at the same time. Like we're not yeah. like we're and not most doing of the times shit. that's a losing battle. You yeah, know that you're against dude, the, you against can't. The, <laughs> there's no winning against them. They come in with that team, they fuck you up, dude. You're just like. <laughs> It, it's a fucking, it gets off here because they gas you and shit, and it's just a horrible fucking So butt. dudes getting beat up about that Dude, and they were throwing, that dude, L2 was so bad, bro. They had shit all over the floor. They had all that shit. As soon as L2 broke, everybody broke. Everyone else fell in it line. It just boom, 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 boom. But at first, everybody was like, no, it's like, blah, 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 blah. All like these top It's dudes. only a matter of time because they da, 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 throw you right? in the hole. They were all up in front. There. Because it was only the bottom, but there was a bunch of like tough guys, and, go, oh, you know, you know. and hmm. they were like the first. <laughs> and what happened? They take a bunk. I'm like, he's talking dudes. Now, were, were they letting dudes move in with people they know as a, like a yeah, compromise? At, yes, after a while, they would compromise. Like, like listen, we're not going to put a stranger like, yeah. yo, Spocky, you and Bobby, you all want to live yeah, together. Yeah, like they would be like, hey, so and so's coming down. Do you mind if he comes in? You can either say yes or you can say no. Mm -hmm. But they never try you know, to mix races like that, right? No, they don't yeah. mix racing. Um, yes. You so know. you were doing. So you, that was your five-year state bid. What kind of um, what kind of trouble were, were you getting in besides just that dirty? You getting it's just bullshit. Just, hmm? it, well, I ended up getting down with the, the strictly Irish. You no, know, that's not right. You could I, be Italian, I guess. Poor, not poor because you got Portuguese. You got a lot of Fall River kids in there. Okay, a lot of good Fall River kids. Oh. But they were fighting with the Southie kids. Now they have got no one to, like to, to um, fighting. So now they're sending letters. Now telling you to put a hit on me. Nobody, nobody was. Mm -hmm. No one took it. And um, then when we get out on the street, there's a bunch of us to get on the street. Brendan was a hitless. They said they were gonna. Uh, take it off the side. I got a tattooed on the side of my rib cage. Mm -hmm. They were like, we're gonna take it off the side of your rib cage. I was like, hmm, take it off the side of my rib cage. All right, let's go down there. So I went down that strap. I went up, we just, I didn't even know if it was the right crew, but it got back to certain people because um, Lahan knew who they were. 
And I had I had the pistol right here. I lift up my shirt and I was like, "All right, what's up? Who, who, who's gonna, who's gonna take this off right now? Mm. Like, let, let, let's do this. You know what I'm right. saying? Like, yeah, I'm like, someone's writing my you life like or that, whatever. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And at that time, still in the, I was still in that mind where mm -hmm. I don't give a fuck. You're gonna threaten me. Don't think you don't do. Don't threaten me. Don't say you're gonna you like do slice it, so me up or fucking fuck with my money or fuck with my bitches family. Right. We're cool. So I had problems with certain kids there, but that ended up getting squashed after a while. And for Back the people up. that don't know, too, just to, real quick, when you say the Saudi, like that's like white, white on white. Pretty white. Much. This yeah. is white on white. Yeah, yeah, this is white on white, and it's like it's it was Saudi Lynn. It was Saudi, and it was Charlestown, Somerville, and Worcester, mm. and Fall River. We had. On our side, like kids with those. Mm -hmm. Now I catch a, another case, catch a beanie. &E, now I go back. Now I gotta answer the con for the shit that I did on the streets. Like mm -hmm. there's still people in there mm -hmm. that like the beef. Some people like squash the beef. Like some of the dudes were like whatever, but some of the dudes, whatever. It is what it is. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So this time when I uh, went back. I had to change my whole mentality up. Like, I had to be, like, tap into my inner self and be someone I didn't want to be this time. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Well, in, a, well, in an aggressive not, way? But, yes, but the, it's not like the first time. But the the, the first time, I, w I was, like, aggressive. You, but you wanted like, to be, kind of, anyway. Yeah, my first five, like, this kid came up to me, and he was, like, talking shit to you. I don't know if you remember when they grabbed Fergie. Were you there when they grabbed and Fergie Con and Conk when I fucking knocked out the dude and, mm -hmm. um... I don't think so. I knocked him out in Thunder Alley and he was bleeding through his ears and all busted up and he was no, walking I, I down, the, um... That. He was walking down because he was like, yeah, I'd be from block, yeah, on I the street. Yeah, I think maybe you were on a different, you weren't on my block at that time, no. right? Because we were on the same block for a little bit, but I think yeah. I remember that, hearing yeah. about all that I shit. Went to, I came said. to your block after that. Okay. But he was talking shit from the streets. He's been talking shit for a mad long. This is like five years. So I was like, nice. I got him. He's a 52A. I was coming back from the gym. I was with Bobby. And I was like, oh, shit, Bobby. I was like, he's like what's up? I was like, uh, I got smoke with that guy. I got to get him. He's like, all right. I was like, just pack my shit in the hole. He's like, right, cool. So I followed him. The man was like, yo, meet me down on the gym so we can get in the corner, get away with it. He's like, nah, fuck it. Let's do it right here. So he tried swinging at me, and I ducked. And I fucking get, fucking pounded his face, dropped one shot, I got on top of him. I started stomping him. And uh, then uh, one of the kids was like, oh, yo, yo, get off him, get off him, you're gonna kill him, you're gonna kill him. So I just got off, I just walked. Fergie ended up running by at the same time as this dude's like walking down. And I guess he had a rip on his shirt. So they put him in there. But when they ran back the videos, they That's came and they got me. So that was like that one. Then I got another one in the, uh, the baseball field. I got a couple more. Um, but when my second state bid, that's when it was. How much time like were you doing for your second state bid? Four. I did nine all together. But I got out in 2012 and came back in 2012. Yeah, then you got out after. I got out 2011. Yeah. So I came. I was only out for like eight months. So you heard in about in Fergie? Same, what yeah. he's back in for? Who? Fergie? I think Fergie? he's in yeah, on the Yeah, the murder. Yeah, yeah, he's back okay. in front of murder. I don't know if yeah, he that's is. Like, Shit, man. I don't like Fergie, too. But they, he, got, he got wrapped up. He was like, you motherfucker, they wrapped me up. <laughs> we were laughing about it. I was like... But, um... <laughs> so, my second statement, it is what it is. Now I know I got smoke up, so I got to go up there. So, but I already had, like, my... A little team up there, team. But, so, I'm up... I get sentenced, I get to go through them, getting fucking death threats, letters, saying all oh, about it, blah, blah, whatever. Jeez. So I'm like, all right, whatever, so I'm down the medium, you know what I'm saying? This, mm -hmm. this, people come down my on my team, I'm send a hit on you, blah, 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 blah. Knowingly, his son is a rat that has paperwork on him, and we're down with the kid, and I was real cool with the kid that his son ratted on. And he was paranoid that we were going to jump him. And he's like, yo, Sparky, can I talk to you? I'm like, yeah. He's like, listen, I know you guys are weird. 
He's like, his son's calling me a rat. There's no paperwork on me. Blah, 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 blah. I got the paperwork video. Da, 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 da. He showed us. I was like, fuck. I'm like, these motherfuckers are talking all this shit, telling me this and that. And half these dudes are up there running around with a rat. Now, how are you going to take orders or even be anything? A lot of people put in a lot of work for that yeah. name. Yeah. Like, you just heard, can't yeah. be down. Right. Like no one just gets it. Now, was down. that the original beef for you? Was someone put you down that they said had no permission to put you down? Yeah, that's okay. where it's all about. So, just to clarify, but that's they, what I thought. but they, but they forget, right? And I bet you none of them would have done this. That when I went back for my four, I got sentenced to Norfolk, mm. and all the salty and Charlestown kids that, no, all the salty and um, Dorchester yeah. kids. That oh, that's what it is. Lynn Dorchester and salty. Okay, yeah all end up being in that camp. That's where they all act, because mm. there's a little of them, because we're all over the place. Right. So I'm the only one. So I'm like, ah, oh, here we go. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Just my luck, you know? Damn. And um, so I landed on Norfolk. I was there for like seven hours. I went right up to um, one of the big um, dude names that's doing a lot of time. Yeah. That's a, a tough dude. And I was like, yo, this is what it is. I got this on me. I said... Um, I don't have a fucking problem with you, but I don't want to be walking around eggshells around here. People talk. You know how yeah. people talk. They mm -hmm. <laughs> not better to do. Yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Bunch so I'm like, school girls. if we're if we're gonna be men, I mean, I, I don't care if I get my ass kicked, whatever. When trouble, I mean, I can if I can I can hold my own. If I get my ass beat, I get my ass beat. It right. is what it is. It's not the end of the day. Right. But I'm not going to let someone punk me off. I'm not going to let someone belittle me. It's, mm -hmm. just, it's just not going to happen. And it, 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 I don't give a fuck who you are, how big you are. You can punch my hand a million times. You're not going to disrespect me. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say something. I'll probably swing on you first. Right. You know what I'm yeah, saying? That, yeah. Like, I, know I don't know if you are. know, no. but he's like 6'4", but he was like... He fucking 6'5", and he was an enforcer for the outlaws, but Sheesh. dude, he fucking, um, and conquered on our first, on the, on my first five, he was like, call me a fucking bitch, and he turned his back oh. on me, and I'm like, you know, now that's real disrespectful, dude. especially, I acted so quick, dude, I had to run, jump off the <laughs> toilet, right, and fucking hit him in the side of the face, right, and he was just like, ooh. And then I grabbed onto him and I started choking him out. You, could wrestle. you know what I, I'm I saying? Think we wrestled once. Yeah. I was <laughs> fucking choking him out. And this motherfucker puts his hands out. We are underneath the bed. And he's like pushing out. Now Ray and other people are pulling me off of him because it's like, right? You know how the J's are. And the, the, the yeah. bubble is right there. But he's like, the cop station is right there. Mm -hmm. So they're like pulling us off. I'm like, yo, don't pull me off. Don't pull me off. I got him. Dude, they end up pulling me off. Dude, this motherfucker gets me. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, I'm fucking yeah. done, right? And I had a little poke. I'm like, Ray, I'm like, get this motherfucker off me before I, get, before I poke him. I poke him. I poke him. I poke him. Get him off because mm. he was choking me out. Right. So then they stop it. And um, I was like, yo, we're going again. I saw I go upstairs to clear my room. And I'm, so I'm up on the third. So I'm like, all right, if he comes running up them stairs, I'm coming down and I'm just doing a super kick. <laughs> right? So he comes up, he's like, yo, can we talk? I was like, yeah. He's like, yo, you just got out of hand in there, you know? He's like, but you did sucker punch me. I said, bro, you called me a bitch and turned your back on me, which yeah. I ain't. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, you, you don't turn your back on me and say, me, you're a bitch, meet me upstairs mm. in, your, in your cell. Right. Dad, so once you say that, well, I don't give a fuck. You, you, yeah. You're fucking 6'5", yeah. dude. I'm fucking 4, 5, uh, 9, you right. know? Yep. But that was another one. But so as I go, my second one, I end up in there. So uh, I go to med call, right? And all of a sudden, five kids surround me. They're like, yeah, you uh, you got a boy tattoo on you? I'm like, yeah. They like, yeah, you can't be on this camp. I was like, all right, so what do you want to do about it? They were like, you got till 7 o'clock in the morning to get off this camp. And his brother at the time was yapping in my ear. He's like, say something, I'll punch you in your fucking face. But mm. boy, go, go, go say something, I'll punch you in your fucking face. And anybody at Norfolk knows this story, right? So I'm like, all right, cool. So I played it off because there's like five of them. Mm -hmm. I'm like, all right, cool. All right, yeah. All right. So they all dispersed. I said, you're fucking, I said, you're going to try to check me off this camp when you got paperwork on you too. I said, 
<laughs> let's go. So I dropped it. I went in my stance, right? And he was looked at me. And he just a weird whistle call, dude. <laughs> And his brother comes running around the corner like mm, fucking shit. Tarzan. <laughs> I'm like, look at this stupid fool. So I just scooped him, dropped him, right? <laughs> and so now, anybody knows if you're in Norfolk, they got like the gravel pit right over like near um, where the dorms are when you first go in. And it like rolls down a fucking hill, dude. Oh, shit. So now I got this kid, I'm rolling down. <laughs> I'm thinking that they're all jumping, mm-hmm. dude. It's the fucking cops now. Oh, okay. Cops are like, Resi- stop resisting. Like, now they got me like this. I'm on Ugh. my back. Like, they're like, stop resisting. Like, give me a hand. Give me a hand. I'm like, dude, I give you my hand. You got my fucking hand. Like, what the fuck you want me to do? My hands are in my fucking chest. Like, <laughs> are you fucking serious right now? And like, oh, right, blah, 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 blah. So they lift me up, dude. I didn't have a fucking scar on me. Like, people were telling me I had had a um, black eye. But as I was on top of his brother, because they came and interviewed me, and they were like, oh, um, did I kick you in the side of the head? Mm-hmm. And I'm like, no. And they were like, let me see the side of your head. And I was like, there's nothing there. Like, oh, what's that spot? I'm like, nothing, nothing. That's from you fucking guys. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, we got people saying he kicked you in the head when you were on top of his brother. And I was like, nah, it didn't happen. Because so now... I'm getting up, right? Now I'm like, yeah, I'm feeling myself. I'm like, yeah, I got these motherfuckers. These motherfuckers had a chance, right? Mm-hmm. Had a, the fucking biggest chance in the world. If someone did that to my fucking brother, I, I would have, all eight of us would have jumped on him right there, mm. stomped him out. And I got up, I got cuffed up, and I just had like little pebbles <laughs> stuck in me, so out. I was bleeding, <laughs> so I was cuffed up. I'm like, yo, you motherfuckers are bitches i said you had the biggest shot in your chance and mm. you fucking choked Man. i'm like i'll see you all so, motherfuckers i said i know every single one of your names when i bump into you just be prepared be you know what i'm saying right. let me cut you off real quick so how long so now you get thrown in the hole right now you're in there yeah. how long between that and that then and then you get out i'm in six days and they sent me to um they sent me back to the max, medium the medium they sent me the Shirley medium because, oh, they, they, they just came and they're like, how did you even get through? Mm. <laughs> and I'm like, I don't know. They, they were like, because I'm not, I wasn't even supposed to be on that camp, first right, of all. Right, right, right. Because of what I have on me and it's, it's, it's like on everything. So like I slipped through the cracks mm-hmm. and they're like, how come you then, like, I'm not going to be a rabbit. Oh, I'm going to Norfolk. Can you not send me to fucking yeah, Norfolk, right, right. please? Like, fuck that, bro. I invite that fucking mm-hmm. warrior's feeling because, you know, what? You know when you're inside, that's all you got is your pride and your word, wow. bro. And you're not going to bitch out from nothing. So it's like every, this time, every time I'm going to fight, win, lose, whatever, dude. Give a fuck, bro. It's like let's oh do it. Like yeah. I, it, it was like. So now I go up to the fucking max. At, no, hold on. I go to Shirley Medium. So <laughs> this fucking kid soccer punches me, dude. Right? For over the same shit. No, for Just fucking okay. Jonathan goes to hole for something. So my homeboy, Salvo kid, Salvo kid. Mm-hmm. So who he, he takes shit. He's like, yo, give me that coffee. Ain't shit about me taking my boy shit or whatever. Mm. And he's like, who? I'm like, Jonathan. And he goes, pat, right? Mm. So I just stumble back and I'm like, bang. So he shoots out at me. I shoot my legs back and I put him in a chokehold and I choke him out in front of the... Now, right, the bubble's right here, dude. I don't know how the fucking cop didn't even fucking see or, or oh, he didn't hear care. it. Right? Ugh. So now I got him choked out. I'm trying to drag him in the cell and he wakes up and he's like fucking like <laughs> making all of these noises. Da, da. <laughs> so he, he escapes, right? So I'm like, tell Tim, like, Tim, tell him to get it in my cell right now. He's like, he doesn't even know what you, what you guys are fighting for. <laughs> I'm like, the motherfucker sucked me. What the fuck are you talking about? Wow. So, dude, I was in there for fucking four months, in right? The hole? Yeah, because they wouldn't let us out because we wouldn't tell them what happened. Okay. So now. Under investigation, that's how they no, hold they you for shipping, so long? No, they were shipping me okay. out. So now this kid, Tommy, the straight bitch, puts a fucking um, hit on me. It's a boxing. Wow. Right for a suboxing. So this kid, right? I'm down in the hole. I'm chilling. This kid tells me he's like, "Yo, Spike, he was like, you cool shit, blah 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 blah." He's like, "But 
this this kid put a hit on on you. And uh, he's like, if you were a scumbag, I would take you up, but you're not. You're cool shit, and I like you. And I was like, I already know who it is, and I said the name. And he's like, yeah, how'd you know? I said, because we were roommates, and I called him out a couple of times, mm -hmm. and he and he, he didn't want to fucking fight. He's just act, but, but I don't know how, because he's That's walking crazy. around slapping dudes and taking their, like, suboxes and shit. I'm like, so it's whatever. <laughs> so... This kid ended up going back in, so they let me out because the kid that sucked me got fucking lugged for something else, so they gave me a chance to get me get back out. So there was like, the boys were down there. One of them's dead, God rest his soul, Murph. And um, they were like, all right, we're gonna handle this. So I was like, all right, I'm gonna get him. Oh, Peter Murphy? Murphy. Oh, um, okay. Charlestown. So uh, it was Jonathan Williams, Tanny, and uh, Murph. I was like, all right, dinner time. So I sniffed a piece. Dude, it had happened so fucking perfect. The fucking last, uh, second to last table before you hit the door in the child on Shirley Medium. One seat open right next to him. I threw my fucking tray on the fucking thing, mm -hmm. dude. I blasted this motherfucker so hard, dude. <laughs> he fell off the fucking seat. I was just Everybody, you know, stands yep. up on the yep. thing. Yep. I'm on top of him. I'm beating him. Dude, this, I got blood all over me. And at a point, I stopped. I'm looking, and I'm just in a gaze. I'm looking, and it's just like... And then Tanny's like, keep hitting that motherfucker. And I was just like, oh, yeah. Hey, <laughs> dude, I fucked this dude so bad. He's still got a schedule. Dude, um, Chicago's time to do He's like, yo, he's got a nasty he's scar got for that. Damn. So then they sent me to the max. Now these motherfuckers are running around, which is a rat. His son's a rat. Now, why would you put, why would he put his son down, right? And then you guys, or we all want to follow this dude, right? First of all, we don't even have any leaders. It's not supposed to be any leaders, mm. all right? We're all Indians. There's no chiefs. You know, you step up to the plate. If, if there's something wrong, you step up to the plate. So don't get along anyways because he's been trying to fucking send hits on me. So Boo Boo was up there and I'm like, yo, you guys are telling me I'm this and that, but you let a fucking rat down and he's got it on his fucking thing. I I said, let me take this motherfucker out because I fucking hate I, I could have got them both at the same time, but somebody else was supposed to do it mm. and they got scared and they didn't fucking do it. So we fucking checked them out for fucking... Um, for uh, yeah, and mm -hmm. he wasn't even checked out. Yeah. So as soon as my doors cracked, the max I ran straight. It was like, Phew! like flash, bro. Mm -hmm. Came around the corner. He was up, hanging over, going like this, like to close his door. Mm -hmm. I'm like, yo, Josh, boop, hit him right here. I just bang, Damn. fell back, dude. He was like going like this. I'm like, the Shit, I got six months to go home, uh, and I'm like, fuck. This will be my life. I'm, I, I'm fucking going to DDU. I, fuck, I just killed this fucking Jeez. kid. Like, so would you end up wrapping up from the hole? Fucking no, <laughs> dude. I only did ten days for that. Right? They sent them out to the outside hospital and everything. They didn't know what the fuck was going <laughs> on. They were asking me where I was gonna live. I said I'm going right back down the <laughs> fucking P1 and P. Like, no, you're not. Blah blah blah. I was like, I right, watch me. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Because because he somehow has a big influential on people. Mm -hmm. and yeah, I was people wondering, why do you think so many people fall. were following him if that was out there? He's a puppeteer. He just can speak to people good and he draws people in. Mm. You know Charis what I'm saying? Charismatic. He, yeah, he's a lifer, so he keeps the shit going, but he didn't, he put himself in it. Nobody put him in it. He just came out of DDU, DDU one day and was like, oh, I'm a fucking blah, blah, blah. Mm. But since he's a lifer, he's been keeping it going, recruit, whatever. Yeah. So now he puts his fucking son down, which is fucking totally against whatever. I dropped all my right. shit. I said, I'm done, dude. I said, all this hard work, all this fighting we've been doing, and you're fighting these fucking dudes, for what? Because mm -hmm. you fucking put a rat down, dude? Are okay. you fucking serious? It diminishes the whole the, the, yeah. the whole name. Like, well, I'm it's I, I want to get into, bro. like, I want to get into now, bro. What are you do, What are you doing now? Because you, you're doing some, some good things right I, now. So bro. right now, I got like about three years sober. Yeah. You know, Congrats, and, bro. I'm uh, proud of you. Thank you. I had to actually, I moved, I moved out of Boston, dude, because it's like, I had to change, I had to change my whole self, like, mm -hmm. had to work on myself a lot. And it took me a while, dude. And, um, 
but now I'm fucking out there. I'm, I work actually in, I work in recovery now. Yeah. You know, I'm a uh, drug counselor. So, yeah, and um, nice. giving back what was given to me. You know, <clears throat> I don't do AA meetings or any of that. Mm -hmm. My shit was more work therapy. Mm -hmm. You know, for the first uh, like three, two, two years, I was a maintenance technician. Mm -hmm. At a um, heating facility, so I made kill of money. But um, I remember that my Thank boy has in his um, aunt is big in the company that I work for, so they got me in there. So I'm a um, recovery specialist, yeah. counselor, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, so cool. now I can give back, and I do my thing. You know, it's not it's not hard. You just have to have the willpower. Anybody out there that's an addict or, you know, is trying to get clean, push through that. It's everybody always says, like, oh, if he can do it, then anybody can do it. I know if I can fucking do it. Mm. I gave up my fucking freedom right. for drugs. You know what I'm saying? My whole life I gave up for fucking drugs. I hurt so many people for drugs. And the shit they're, put, they're putting in now is Zylon. Whatever, this shit's mm. not even fucking fentanyl. These dudes think their chemistry is out here, mm -hmm. which you, like, they're playing around with it. They don't know what the fuck they're doing. So people are dying left mm -hmm. and right. We're losing too many of our friends, yep. you know, or too many people we know, and it's mm -hmm. destroying us. Yep. And for what? You know what I'm saying? To get, to just get a little 10 second high, be sick. Be shitting on the floor in a police station because you got a warrant for some stupid fucking shoplifting charge you fucking did or something. You know what I'm saying? The yeah, story. You know what I'm saying? Yep. I don't miss some fucking days sitting on the fucking concrete floor fucking yeah. sick as a dog. Like, not on, you know, I fucking, when I first got sober, I yeah, got on the methadone and I did this. I got off the methadone and said, this, did the sub cage shot mm -hmm. and then. After that, suffocation, I don't even have to do it. Nice. It's been like six months since I've been off that, and you don't feel a kick, nothing. Nice, you just bro. come off nice slow. Nice. slow. But other than that, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, where I'm at right now, it, my mentality is like, I'm out there, I still hustle, I still do my thing. I would. I can't go back. Like I couldn't picture myself going mm -hmm. back using. Right. Like I got Good. so much shit. Like all this gold. All mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying. Right. Like all this shit. Like I buy this shit because it's like you have to. I appreciate. Like you gotta appreciate yourself. You gotta love yourself. You gotta. You know. Yeah. That's you what gotta, it's about. That journey, falling back in love with yourself, and, fi and, yeah, and finding man. yourself, and what like. I can what do, do I like to do besides drinking and fucking smoking and yeah, drugs or whatever? I can still go like, out and have a good time, yeah. bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just dropped a fucking G yesterday on my fucking pinky ring. Like, <laughs> I have money to do that. I have money to do whatever the fuck I want, right? And half these dudes, right? Whereas before, you were paying for other people's gold, right? Exactly. <laughs> Exactly. You know what I'm saying? And now and, look but at you, bro. All these dudes got to twist at these young cats or whatever, like getting out there, hustle, like get out there. Get it, it's so easy to make money. It's it's like unbelievably if you're not making money right now, you're an idiot. Like it, it, it's 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 way yeah. too easy, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Like I have a Lexus right now. Never in my dreams, if you would have told me four or five years ago I had a mm -hmm. Lexus, I would have been like, yeah, right. Or I have jewelry, my own place, bad bitch, whatever it may be. Right. You, know what I'm, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. it, but it's all about, you got to maintain. You also have to be in a positive state of mind. You have to be humble. Mm -hmm. I do a lot of meditation. Cause I, I'm very, I've been very spiritual, you know. Like, I like to go home, light an incense, whatever. You may yeah. laugh at no, me, do whatever, cool, but man. you know what? <laughs> that's what keeps me clean and sober. But that doesn't change a person I am. Like, I'm still humble. I'm still this, that. But I can flip the switch like that, where I can go right back to how I was, and I don't care how that person is or who you are, what you are what you did, how, what you walked right. in your shoes, you know what I'm yep. saying? 
that shit don't bother me. You worry it's about just yourself, like, bro. Yeah. yeah. That's all it's about. Man, we getting, we running out of time, bro. Um, Any last? Oh, damn. Man. I know, I know. Time flies. I guess we going to just, uh, man, say you got a boy just came home, something like that. Man, you got any advice for somebody? Anybody get home, man, just stay off the streets, man. Do your thing. Get in the, get into something you like hobbies do whatever mm -hmm. speaking of hobbies you got the um the youtube thing going too uh, right why don't you tell the people right, how so, they can find you on youtube first all right, of all. so it's spocky g whatever you, it's spocky g you can find me on youtube i'm mostly on tiktok i haven't done it in a while okay. but i'm gonna take a shot all right now <clears throat> whatever the bullshit like I said before, it is what it is. I'm not no one special. I'm not no one tough. I'm not the biggest, toughest guy, whatever. But when people can throw jackets on people, like in the industry, and people say they have clout, like Jake 1090, whatever the fuck, rat, you want to call him, right? They say, oh, if he's a rat, Jake calls you a rat, he's a rat, right? Bro, nobody knows you from Boston. Don't forget, you ratted yourself. You got a smoke shop busted. You put them on the news. After you got assaulted, that kid came up from Florida, you put yourself on fucking air of the assault. And you were basically saying that the kid didn't use his hands and used no fucking weapon. You're a fucking dry snitch fucking rat. Like, come to fucking Boston. You would never, never, I guarantee you this dude would never, ever come face to face because it ain't gonna be a face to face. Like all these meet and greets you do, you talk shit about people, then you go up and you dap them up, bro. There ain't no dapping up here. That's the, I'm just telling you that straight up, brother. That's not how I do things. I show you how we do things on the street, brother. Right. <laughs> we go. You know what I'm yeah. No, I feel you, bro. No, because it's getting crazy. Because it's saying like, if he calls someone a rat, then it's true. What What about this dude being a fucking rat? You know what I'm saying? Like People that are whole giving him money. That you like, were talking about dude, with the I'm telling you right now, like, I don't need TikTok, I don't need YouTube to make fucking money. I'm out there, I'm hustling, bro. Like, you you know what I'm saying? Like, I carry this on me all the time. I got I got play money with me all the time, B. Like, you know what okay. I'm mean? saying? You, know, you, you, know, you know what I'm saying? And give that to your brother, bro. For real, bro, that's dope. Give that to your brother. Like, uh, come on. I'm, that's Jojo's that's, gonna appreciate that's that. That's all bro. 500. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yo, what was your bum ass doing, Jake? When you were on the fucking streets doing that, you were a bum, bro. You weren't making money. You weren't hustling. You didn't have this shit. I got a Lexus. I got shit. You're only like that because you're on mainstream and people are fucking following you. But you're really a fucking rat and you're pointing to everybody else to try to cover your fucking self up. You ain't even funny if you fucking say you're from around here. You ran the floor. They think they a real deal. Word. On that, that shit's yo, crazy. On that note, man. You know what time it is. I'm your boy, Bobby. It's my guy, Spocky. It is what it is. What's yeah, next is what we make yeah. it. This is the Bounce Back Scandalous Production, and we out. Thanks again for pulling up, bro. I really appreciate you. Bounce back. You got a moment. When they see you down, there's no...